Guys, kudos for your powerful, intense, and profound interpretation. It was very amazing. So thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Me. So you play two immense, iconic, and monumental characters. So how did you deal with them? I think we, well, I can speak for myself, but you know, Aaron will speak for himself. <laughs> but I, I think for me, it was, um, I just wanted to try to, knowing what the, 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 the material was, which was just really trying to understand these men and the how they became these icons, I, I was trying to look for all the moments that reminded me of myself, reminded me of my father, reminded me of the men in my life, and um, things that I found were, that were relatable. So it, it, it was always about finding that connective tissue uh, and a, almost a soul connection to them. Um, but yeah, I mean, it sounds really simple, but it also sounds complex, and that's exactly how I kind of felt. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, ju just to follow on from what Kelvin, you know, articulated beautifully that I think, you know, in, in addition to that, I think what really served me in the portrayal was, and I know Kelvin did the same, the extensive research, you know, to, to have that foundation, to be guided by that, uh, to have that to lean into and be held by was, uh, you know, a critical part of the process. You know, the autobiography, uh, the Sword and the Shield uh, mm -hmm. by Peniel E. Joseph, um, and then just countless minutes and hours of, you know, his historical footage, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, whether it be them at a panel or in uh, an interview setting or doing a speech, you know, these are all critical parts of, um, you know, the, the process. But... Well, was there a, a scene or a moment during the making of the series uh, that was uh, a major challenge for you? Every day for me um, was a challenge. I think, um, you know, I speak about this a lot, the enormity of the experience and I think, and the enormity of the responsibility. So there, it, it was a full-time engagement um, for us. It wasn't a, a, a situation where, you know, we arrived uh, at work, we we did scenes and then we, we went home and forgot about it. It was for that six months, it was a full-time engagement. It was, it lived with us, it breathed with us, it was present with us for that whole time. And that's not even including pre-production or post-production. Um, so it was, there was no, there was no easy day. Every day was a challenge, um, but I would do it all again. I would and, say I agree with Darren. Yeah, it, every, it was a challenge, kind of stepping on set and feeling the magnitude of what you were doing and reminding myself of my age and then reminding myself of their ages. It's, you know, these are these are people who did this, they who never saw 40, you know? Um, and that that's that's a lot. Listen, that's a lot. <laughs> it has been 60 years uh, since Martin Luther King and Malcolm X uh, fought for human rights. And today um, there is unfortunately still a long way to go. So how important are series like this one today? I think they're so important. I think they, what, what's really cool about this series genius in, in and of itself is that it allows us to get an inside look into how genius is 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 is, is birthed, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and and it, it allows us a little bit of a relatability so we can see our own in, in personal genius. Like what about us can relate to these icon, icons mm -hmm. that we can take from to, 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 fulfill our destiny and our path and our activeness in the society or the communities that we live in. Um, and uh, I think, I think, um, well, that's my train of thought. <laughs> no, this is it. I think, I think, I think, I think you hit the nail on the head there. I think it, it's about, for, for us, this series represents an opportunity to gain uh, deeper insight into these tremendous individuals uh, and these, and when I say that I'm including, you know, El Haj Malik, El Shabazz, Malcolm mm. X, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Dr. Betty Shabazz, Correct Scott King, and all of their affiliates, it's really important to gain deeper insight to understand the history even deeper so that we can inform how best to proceed forward where we are today in, in regards to empathy, connectivity, uh, unity, and better communication, you know, so we can create a better world for us now and those that are coming after us. What what do you take away from this, this series? What remains in your heart? 
I think it's love for me, love for my people, love for my community, right. um, and really being appreciative of all the support I get. I think sometimes it's easy to forget when we're constantly bombarded with the negative things that are happening in the world and start kind of get this this feeling of all is lost and right. it's all coming to an end and da 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 da. But there's so much beauty around us and we don't make enough space for the beautiful things. And what I think is so cool about this series is we get to see these incredible women who constantly remind these men trying to overcome all these obstacles and intense challenges of how beautiful it is to be in this moment and that they can handle it, that what that they have support, that they have love, that they have encouragement. And that's what's going to get us. As, we need that as human beings. And that's what gets us to the end. That's what gets us to the beautiful place that we live in now and and, and, and the, the ability to sustain it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I couldn't have articulated that any better. So I'm that that is a shared a shared feeling, um, a shared sentiment.